Okay, in this activity, you're doing what they refer to as factoring linear binomials. Binomials, right, two-term linear equations where the exponent on the variable uh, is as high as 1. So here you can see a typical example, uh, something like 3x plus 3. What we're trying to do is find a common factor. So you look at both terms. Here's one term, 3x. And then separated by the plus sign, we have the second term. Now, this one might be a little obvious, but the common term is literally the, the, the number they have in common, which in this case is 3. So you factor out the 3, and that means you pull the 3 out of each term so that when you multiply 3 back, you get what you started with. In this case, x plus 1 would be correct, because now if you think about it, 3 times x, what's that? Plus 3x, okay? That's what we have right here. And then what's 3 times 1? Well, that's just 3. And that's what we have right here. So if we write it in this form and distribute the 3, we get back to what we started with. And that's the definition of factored form. Pull out a common factor without changing the expression at all. Um, some of the more complicated ones will, will be or represent situations where uh, the common factor isn't so obvious. So maybe let's try one like, I don't know, uh, 8x, right? plus, let's say, 30. Okay, so here 8 and 30, well 8 it doesn't go into 30, right? But what are the common factors of the number 8 and the number 30? Well, I know they're both even, so I'm going to use that as a greatest common factor, right? In other words, 2. I'm not going to use 4, even though it's a factor of 8, because it doesn't go in to 30. So I factor out a 2. And now I say to myself, and you can solve this if you're confused, by setting up an algebra equation, 2 times what would equal 8x, right? Because we have our common factor of 2, and we know when we multiply it back, we should get 8x. To solve that missing piece, you could divide both sides by 2, and the answer would be 4x, right? So that's something, it's 4x, so 4x plus what? Well, 2 times what? equals 30. Divide by 2 on both sides, and you'll see that's 15. So here, this is simplest factored form. And you always want to check when you have a situation like this, that the remaining two numbers don't have any other common factors other than 1, which means they're relatively prime. So 4 only has factors of 1, 2, and 4, and only 1 goes into 15. 2 and 4 does not, so you have reached simplest factored form. All right, thanks a lot.